In 1895, the Reader's Digest magazine printed an article about a medical condition called bicycle face, which, according to doctors at the time, only affected women. You see, bicycles had just hit the market and they were making women independent. For the first time, women could travel by themselves, they could do things on their own. And so doctors at the time had started saying that the strain of balancing on a bike over uneven roads would make a woman unattractive. It would make her eyes bulge, it would make her jaws get all clenched and hard, and she would start to look tired and unpleasant. And it would also mess with her sexual organs because sitting on that vibrating, shaking seat would either stimulate her sexual desires or it would ruin her chances of having children. So basically, being independent and being able to ride on a bike would make you unattractive and you wouldn't get a man. Do you see a pattern over here? Through the centuries, not only has society always tried to control a woman's efforts to be independent, but they've done it by telling her that it will decrease her beauty. And then they've created standards for that beauty and convinced her that she has to fit into this narrow little box. Otherwise, she's not beautiful. And the sad thing is, it's worked every time. It's time to break the cycle. You are beautiful because you're you. And if anyone tells you that you will become less beautiful because you talk too much or because you want to do things that make you independent or because you just don't fit into their idea of beauty, remember, it's not true. It's just how they have always controlled you.